Hi everybody, my name's Michelle, welcome to my channel Sewing Bunny and uh, has anyone noticed that I've got a new logo? <laughs> I created that last night, um, I was kind of looking at lots of other YouTubers and things like that and uh, yeah, some people have really nice little logos so I wanted one, so I've created that, so uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Um, I'm in a slightly different position today because um, I've got a little snoozy cat um, normally where I put my chair and um, yeah I don't really want to disturb him I might give you a little bit of a sneak peek so yes we have a little ginger snoozy fluff I can't disturb him oh hello oh sorry I've woken you up have not I are you okay if I stay here and record while you have a little snooze yeah I'll take that as a yes so yes I'm gonna leave him snoozing there <laughs> um, so yes today's video it's all about my makes from May and uh, yeah I've been really busy in May I've made quite a few things I think I've got nine things I think to show you today so yeah I've been just sewing so much I think I've been sewing probably most days so um, yeah it's just been really really nice and uh, poor old Stuart probably hasn't seen much of me but uh, I found sewing in the last few weeks really therapeutic so um, yeah sewing makes me happy so uh, yes let's uh, get on with what I made so I suppose first up I'll start with uh, what I'm actually wearing today and this is the Grain Line Studio Linden sweatshirt You've probably sick of me talking about the Linden sweatshirt <laughs> but it's one of my favourite patterns and um, I did actually create this um, top because uh, you might have seen from my May plans video I wanted to make um, a Linden t-shirt uh, for my mother-in-law and I wanted to trial out how it felt in a in a normal kind of jersey rather than like a French terry or um, a sweatshirting or anything slightly thicker and uh, so yeah, I trialled out this one and uh, it's in this lovely um, otter fabric which is from Fursa Fabrics and it's got all these lovely little otters uh, swimming about and I've made it a half sleeve so the Linden um, sweatshirt pattern is either a short sleeve or um, a full length sleeve and I kind of did in the middle just because I like a half sleeve I kind of like that feeling of rolling up your sleeves and actually without there being excess fabric um, so yeah this was my trial one which went really well and then I made my mother-in-law her one and what I'll do is I'll insert a picture of um, the top that I made for her here and she really really liked it she was so happy with it and I, I have to admit I was really happy with it as well it was so difficult not to like steal it for myself but <laughs> it was intended for a gift um, and I also made her a little birthday card as well um, which was um, making up little fabric flowers so I'll insert a little picture of, of that here as well and uh, yeah she absolutely loved it and it was really, really nice to see her even if it was very momentarily in uh, her doorway um, but yeah she really liked it and I'm really happy with the end result. Okay so next up um, is my uh, jumpsuit which I made which is the New Look 6446 jumpsuit and I made it in a green uh, needle cord. Now, um, I know this probably isn't going to show up greatly um, here, so I will insert a picture um, of me wearing it. And I absolutely love this jumpsuit. I really, really enjoyed making it. I made sure that I took my time with it as well. And I love the end result. And so um, it's got these lovely big pockets. I love these pockets. They're so nice. And everything fit really, really well, apart from the crotch. Now, I was trying it on um, as I went. I don't do uh, twirls really, um, or if I do, I tend to do like wearable twirls. And um, as I was trying it on, it felt okay. Uh, so I, I made it up. Um, but then I found once I wore it um, for the full day, when I was sitting down and as I was moving throughout the day, it was kind of rising up a little bit, um, gave me a little bit of a uh, hungry bum. Uh, so uh, yeah if I am going to make it again I will lower the crotch this time I mean it's not ridiculously uncomfortable but you kind of just know that it gives you a little bit of a wedgie 
um, but it's not going to stop me from wearing this because I do love it and I actually lined it in a contrast fabric as well and if I can just undo this I will show you it's bunnies <laughs> I mean it has to be doesn't it so yeah I lined it in this lovely little bunny fabric which is just a uh, I think it's a poly cotton I think or cotton I got it absolutely ages ago it's just a little scrap that I had um, so yeah I really like that finish of it and I just think it looks really cute so I really really enjoyed making that one and um, I also did make up uh, the tie as well for it uh, which is here so um, but yeah I'll insert the picture so you get a better look of it but I was very happy with that one. On to uh, make number two um, again sticking with the needle cord <laughs> I was really in the mood for um, sewing up with needle cord. Once I'd finished the jumpsuit, I was just like, I really like needle cord. I actually didn't realise how much I enjoyed sewing with it. So I decided to make the um, olive pinafore um, from Tilly's book, Make It Simple. And I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love this one. So here it is. <laughs> And um, again, I will insert uh, a picture of me wearing it because, yeah, you can't really see all of the details here, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, it is probably a little bit short um, on me, so I probably wouldn't wear it too often without tights. I think it would look really nice, actually, with some, with some black tights and, um, yeah, like a little top underneath. Uh, but it's so comfortable. It's really, really comfortable. And um, I added in one of the, um, or oh, if you can see on there, uh, here we go, um, one of the labels I got from my So Hayley Jane May box, which is from the Crafty Pin Up Shop. So I added in that little label. And you may have um, heard from my um, makes video um, when I did my little disaster with my shirt um, I managed to get some different snaps which um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door recommended um, check out my last video if you want to have a little bit more of a insight on that one and how you can get these different snaps but these are lovely and they look really nice on here and they do actually snap they work so yeah I'm very happy with those um, but yeah, overall, I absolutely love this. It's just such a nice little pinafore dress and um, I think that's gonna get quite a lot of wear. And then moving on to my next make, uh, it's the Friday Pattern Company Adrienne blouse. Was it Adrienne blouse? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but yes, I made it in this beautiful purple. I absolutely love this top, absolutely love it. It's just so pretty. It's so easy to make as well. I couldn't believe how quickly it came together. And for how it looks, um, I'm just so surprised at how quick it was. It looks like something which would probably take you quite a bit of time to do, but I love the pattern. I really do. And um, so it's got this gathered um, uh, top part of the sleeve and then also, um, gathered there as well and when I say gathered it's kind of using elastic so you've got elastic at the top here and elastic here and it's got this beautiful look at the size of that sleeve it's amazing um, and I just think it looks really pretty on and um, yeah I also used uh, one of those labels again from the crafty pinup shop from my So Holy Jane box so they've come in really useful actually those uh, because this pattern the front and the back is the same piece. So if you were to put it on, I wouldn't have a clue which is the front and the back because you could wear it either way. So I like having a label in makes when I'm not sure um, if there's a clear definition from the front and back. So um, yeah, and of course, because it was purple fabric and the purple label, I think it looks really nice. So I am very happy with this top. I absolutely love it. So my next make is the Kokowawa Crafts uh, honeycomb dress. I love this one. I keep saying I love everything. I just, I just do. I love sewing. I love making my own clothes. I just, I'm so. Well, you can probably tell that I'm just, I'm so passionate about making things. So I love everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway look how cute this is i love it um it is in this mustard double gauze which i got from um sew wardrobe and oh 
I just think it's absolutely adorable. So um, just bring it a little bit closer for you there. So there you can see the, the double gauze there. And also, again, the So Haley Jane box. I used the little yellow buttons with the little stripes on. So that box has actually come in really handy. And uh, yeah, I did contrast um, ties on this just because I thought they'd pop out a little bit and it just made it have a little bit of interest as well. And because it's in double gauze, it is the snuggliest thing. I mean, it is actual secret pyjamas, this dress. It is so cosy. And um, I did actually wear this dress um, when I popped around to see my mother-in-law when I gave her her T-shirt. And um, yeah, she loved this dress. She was like, it's so pretty, it's so you. So, oh, just, I'm so happy with it, I really am. You know when you just, sometimes when you make something up and you just think that came together and looks a lot better than I could ever imagined. And that's what it is with this dress. It just makes me happy whenever I wear it. And I think this is gonna be an absolute staple in my wardrobe. So I'm very, very happy with this one. Oh, um, also just to mention, I did actually add more buttons than the pattern suggests. Um, and the only reason I did that is because my other honeycomb dress that I've made up before, um, it's, it's lovely, but it does kind of have that little kind of gapage sometimes between buttons. And I mean, it's not anything, you know, drastic, you know, you can't really see anything too much, but it just, has those little holes that you can kind of see through um so I wanted to add a few more buttons and yeah when I wear this there's absolutely no little gaps in between the buttons so um yeah if you if you do have that problem with the honeycomb just add more buttons okay and then the next item is uh oh surprise surprise it's another grain line studio linden sweatshirt I'm obsessed um so after making um this version I really liked the whole kind of like half sleeve and I wanted to make um, another one and I made it this time out of French Terry um, because I had this gorgeous animal print which I did show in one of my videos. Oh, I just love it and um, I got this uh, fabric from uh, Oh So Crafty I think it was. Yes. I'm sure that's what it was. And um, yeah, and then I made it in the black French terry, which I think I just got from like Lubidoo, I think. Um, but yeah, so it's just the front panel. And there you go, you've got the slightly shorter uh, sleeves. And yeah, I mean, it is just a, a linden sweatshirt, but I just thought it was really cute. And I posted, <laughs> posted this up on my Instagram and my sister-in-law said um, that her little boy, um, has a little uh, has a little uh, romper in this fabric, but in green. Now I've mentioned before that I seem to pick fabrics which children uh, have as well. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't bother me. I like what I like, you know. And you know, if I end up matching a toddler, does it really matter? No. I like cute prints and everything, so that is me. <laughs> so yeah, I was very happy with that one. And then um, I had some fabric uh, left over from that. So I made myself um, the Itch to Stitch Lego tank in the same fabric. And this one I've done front and back. And this basically used up every single little scrap of fabric that I had. So that front panel and this top. Um, and then again, I've used the um, French Terry for the uh, bindings on that. So yeah, I love that one. Just a nice little um, vest top that I can wear when it's a, obviously when we've got the sun out and everything. So um, yeah, that's good. Okay, and then on to my last make, which I'm only gonna give you a little sneaky peek of because I am releasing a video, I think it's in the next couple of days it goes up, uh, for my um, Felicity Fabrics um, blogger team um, vlog, <laughs> which is my review of the Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse. And I did make it up, I've already recorded the video, so it's all ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek of it. So yeah, this is my lovely Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse. So yes, if you want to see more of that, and I'll go into it in a lot more detail in my next video. So yes, please watch that. Um, it would be lovely to get some feedback on that as well, because it's my first kind of proper review of a pattern. So yeah, that was all of my makes from May. Again, I don't know how I managed to sew up so much. I know probably a lot of people who do watch, you know, kind of think how on earth does she have all this time to sew? Um, but during the current circumstances, it's 
I've just, yeah, sewing has been my release and I've spent so much time doing it. So, you know, it's not that I'm really super quick and super speedy. I actually think I'm quite a slow sewer because I do like to take my time with things. Um, but I've just, as I say, been sewing more or less every single day just to keep my mind, you know, kind of doing something else. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching everything um, from what I made. And yeah, if you'd like to pop a comment down, let me know which one was your favourite. Or if you've made any of the patterns, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. And yeah, I will um, post up my video on my Sew Over It Pussybow Blouse uh, review in a couple of days. And then probably soon after that, I'll do my Me Made May review. Now, um, I'll give you a quick update on how Bentley's getting on. So yes, he's awake, but he's still quite snoozy. Such a beautiful little boy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So yes, he's a happy chappy. He has a good life, doesn't he? Wish I could sleep all day like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye.